What's up guys, welcome back to CrossFlix where we talk about movies and TV across all different genres. Today, of course, we're gonna be talking about the Oscars. So let's For get those to of it. you that watch my stuff, yes, I will be talking about the Will Smith, Chris Rock altercation, but that's originally not what this video was supposed to be for in the first place. I was gonna do a separate video on it, but I'll just talk about it at the very end of this, but I'm gonna go through all of my predictions and the actual winners and stuff first because that's that was my intention and that's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to talk about, I actually didn't even know it was going to happen, the whole slap thing. For those of you that are saying it's staged, it's because you don't watch award shows. You can tell when something's staged and something's not. What I'm going to be doing is, if you guys want to, you can go to the Vanity Fair website and pull up this sheet. And this sheet has all the nominees and everything like that. So I'm going to be starting from... I'm going to be starting from the last one and then going to the first one, but just because the first one's the best picture. And I really don't think most people that watch this give a shit about a documentary short. So that's why I'm going to start at the last and then work my way up through. Starting out with documentary short, I went for the Queen of Basketball and the Queen of Basketball won. So that was cool. Live action short, I went for the dress and I believe it went to the long goodbye. I don't remember, but I didn't get that one. Animated short. I put Bestia. I thought it said Beast on the thing for some reason. So in my original prediction, it said Beast. It says it's Bestia. So I, I couldn't read that day, I guess. Um, that didn't win. It went to the Windshield Wiper. So, uh, all right. Visual Effects went to Dune. Super happy about that. I got that one. Sound also went to Dune. And I was, again, super happy about that. I got that one. Production Design. I put West Side Story, and I, I think it was given to Dune, actually. So Dune was got, got a lot more credit than the uh, than the fans gave it, for sure, when it first came out. So that's awesome. Makeup and hairstyling, I chose The Eyes of Tammy Faye, and that one won. And editing also went to Dune. Awesome. I, got, I voted for that one. That one won. Now, if you have this sheet printed out or you're looking at it back and forth, blah, 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 I'm going to be in the last one on the middle category. Um, costume design, I put Nightmare Alley. It went to Corolla. Uh, well done. Well deserved. I'm not upset about it. Cinematography, I put Nightmare Alley. And I think it went to Dune. I forget. But I didn't get it either way. Original song, I put the Dos Arugitas or whatever from Encanto. That didn't win. Um, no Time to Die won from Billie Eilish. So that's cool. Super young. Probably one of, not the youngest person, but... Maybe one, of, maybe the youngest singer to win, to win an Academy Award. I'm not sure, but she's definitely up there as far as age and winning an award. So that's cool. And it was a cool song, too. Original score, I put Encanto, and Dune won. So awesome. I wanted Dune to win, but I thought they would have given it to Encanto. Documentary feature, I put Flea. Uh, that didn't win. So th this category sucked. I only won. I only got two of these right in this category. Um, documentary feature went to Summer of Soul. So it looked cool. I didn't watch it, but like the little clip they showed, it looked cool. Animated feature, I put the Metros and the Machines. I was hoping the, uh, the Phil Lord and uh, Chris Taylor, I think is his name. The guys that did Lego Movie and Spider-Verse. I was hoping they kind of would have pulled this one out for Netflix. But it went to Encanto. Kind of uh, expected it. International feature, I chose Drive My Car and it won. Adapted screenplay, I put Coda and that one. So that was awesome. Coda actually, so spoilers, I guess. Coda was nominated for three Academy Awards. Not going to say which three, but it was nominated for three and it won all three. So that was really cool. It was a really good movie. If you haven't seen it, watch it because it's it's really, it's really really good. And it is on Apple TV Plus. It is a streaming service. But I mean, I think if you buy headphones, you get like three months free or something like that. So or I, it's free. I'm sure stream it somewhere. You didn't hear that from me, but moving on. Original screenplay, I put Licorice Pizza. Now, I watched Licorice Pizza about right before the Oscars. It was a good movie, but it wasn't like, I don't think it was best picture worthy. It was uh, original screenplay, I would give it that in general, but there was a lot that I don't feel like it was like, it was good. It wasn't wow. It didn't have a wow factor to it, except for the fact that it's a, or it's a 28 year old girl hooking up with a 16 year old guy. And if that if those roles were flipped, this movie would never have gotten uh, two auditions. It would never would have gotten there. So I don't know. It, like it's not a bad movie. I'm not trying to talk shit on it, but you know, society. Society. 
So moving on. Actress in a supporting role, I put Ariana DeBose from West Side Story and she won, so that was cool, super happy for her. Actor in a supporting role, I put Troy Kotzer and uh, that, he was the guy from CODA. He was a deaf guy from CODA and he won. His speech was really, really good. Uh, if you can, go and watch his speech because it was a great speech. Yes, they had somebody talking over it. I don't know sign language. Actress in the leading role, I put Nicole Kidman. I I really felt like she should have won, um, but Jessica Chastain won and she did a really good job. So I, I wasn't upset about losing out on that one. Actor in the leading role, here's where we're gonna get into it a little bit. I wanted Will Smith. I was so pumped for Will Smith to get it. And then some shit happened. Oh, 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 oh. And while I still wanted him to win, I wasn't as pumped. More on that later. Director, best director, I put Steven Spielberg for West Side Story. And it went to, it went to Jane Campion for Power of the Dog, which, okay. Good for her, I guess. The acting was good, but it was slow. It was weird. Maybe I just don't understand some of it, which is probably fine. Oh, well. Um, and then best picture, I had West Side Story winning and Coda won. It was probably the biggest underdog on the best picture category and it, it pulled through. So it was really cool to see that and to see that for the deaf community and also just it's a really good movie in general and it does deserve it so wasn't wasn't upset about losing out on that one as well so out of out of 23 categories i won 10 of them take that as what you will some people that's good some people that sucks some people don't care but i won five bucks so suck it just kidding kind of yeah so that's it for me on my predictions and results. If you guys want to hear my thoughts on the whole situation, stay tuned. Okay, so if you haven't seen the video, which I'm sure if you're watching this, you have, because at this point, who hasn't? I know people that don't give a shit about movies that have seen it. But in case you haven't, here it is. Love you, G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> Uh oh, Richard! <laughs> oh wow! Wow! <laughs> oh! Wow. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. <laughs> oh! Wow. Damn! Damn! So before I get into, I just gleeked. Before I get too into it, yes, I'm aware that Jada Pinkett Smith has alopecia or whatever it's called uh i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. it's the disease where you just you basically you just go bald like you don't go bald naturally it's a disease that affects your hair follicles and i think it essentially just kills them off i'm aware that she has that she talked about it um but in december of last year so just three months ago she said now the only thing i can do is laugh about it she said that to I, it was Us Weekly or People Magazine, some shit like that. I don't know. So she says that Chris Rock makes a joke. Then everyone loses their minds. Now, let's not forget, guys, that he's a comedian. And a comedian's job is to walk the line of whether it's a little bit too far or right under the line. That's their job. That's how they get paid. That's how it's always been like. Comedy is going to be a, well, it's not going to be a dying career. It most clearly is a dying career because people just get offended over everything. If you say the only thing you can do is laugh about it and somebody makes a funny joke, which that joke was fucking funny, and you don't laugh about it, then you're critiquing what you said yourself about what you've publicly been open about. So like, at this point, I'm not even on Will Smith yet. This is all Jada. And honestly, she's main problem, this whole story. So anyways, yes, I'm aware she has it. I'm aware that she said that she could only, that she should only laugh about it, which I've seen nobody bring up. And a joke was made. Jokes are jokes. Not every person means the joke they say. They say the joke because it's funny. A lot of people don't understand that nowadays. And that's honestly because they have too much time to find something to complain about. Like me, complaining about this right now. 
So, with that being said, Chris Rock also might not know that she has it. Not everybody has time to keep up with the Smith family's problems and their issues. So he has his own shit going on. So maybe he doesn't know and he just thought that she shaved her head for for whatever reason. He doesn't know and maybe he does. If he does know, then yes, that's a, that, that's a fucked up joke. Doesn't mean it's not funny. But I'd say based off of his reaction and the part that they cut out of the, the air um, on ABC here in the States, that he didn't know. All that aside, Will Smith initially laughs at the joke and then looks at Jada Smith, sees her not happy, and then goes and pulls this bullshit. So it's like, and then he's like, put respect on my wife's fucking name or keep my wife's fucking name out of your mouth, whatever. So I get that. Standing up for your wife, that's totally fine. I get that. But she has literally talked to him publicly on their podcast or whatever the hell their little red round table is called about fucking other dudes behind his back, hooking up Jaden Smith's friends. To a different kind of entanglement mm -hmm. with August. And also making him like cry in front of everybody that he wasn't living up to being a father, wasn't living up to being a man, like talking so much shit on him. I don't know why he lets that fucking control him that much. So obviously, I mean, I don't know their life. And if he wants to, then that's his choice. That's perfectly fine. That, that's okay. If you want to let a woman control you like that, perfectly fine. Do what you have to do. But for me, I just don't understand that, especially when you origin when you were originally laughing at the joke. That was literally just made for the purpose of a joke. It wasn't made to make fun of her. It wasn't made to insult her. It was it was a joke from a comedian. Like, do we forget what comedians are nowadays or what's happening? I don't I don't understand. So I was so hyped for Will Smith to win because I feel like he deserved this for concussion. I feel like he deserved this for pursuit of happiness. I feel like he deserved it for seven pounds. I feel like th there's so many movies that he should have gotten this award for and didn't. And this not only took away his big moment, it took away big moments from all the other nominees that won. So this happened about, what, maybe like an hour before the thing actually ended. And... It just, he, so he wins, which is cool. He won, like I wanted him to win. But the moment could have been that much more powerful if he had just, just let the comedian make his joke, whether it's a bad joke or not. Obviously it hit because the entire crowd, including Will Smith himself, was laughing. So it, was, it wasn't like it was a bad joke. It might have not been the, the best context of a joke, but it was still a good joke. Let me reemphasize the word joke for those that don't know what jokes are but anyways so if he had just like and honestly at first i thought he just went up and bonked him on the head just like just like a buddy bonk just like hey like watch it dude but no do that do that he had some flashbacks of his preparation for ali like a butterfly, like a bee. so i thought it was like that at first and uh then i realized it wasn't i don't know it just took away there was still something special about it, but because of the incident that happened before <laughs> oh. and he lost control of himself and that little moment of time, it took away what could have been extra special for not only for him, not only for his people, but for everybody because everybody knows he's deserved one for a very long time. So that sucked. And then I think there was three other awards after that, but everybody just became stiff in that moment. They're like, how, how do we act now? Like, how do we, how are we going to present this? Like, are we going to have to watch every joke that's actually written in the script now? Or what's, what's going to happen? So it just, it changed the whole momentum and vibe of the Oscar, which sucked, especially because a movie like Coda, like even their win could have been bigger for best picture and it wasn't because of this incident that happened <laughs> oh. so pretty much that's it that's my thoughts on it i agree with will smith's idea and his his side of it like hey i gotta protect my wife that's fine i don't like it i don't agree with it but i accept it 
And I also agree with Chris Rock doing his job, which is being a comedian, making people laugh, presenting an award. Like, I, I agree with both sides. If I had to pick a side, well, actually, you can't pick a side because you don't know the full context of whether or not Chris Rock knew she had alopecia. I think if Chris Rock knew that, he wouldn't have made that joke. But at the same time, if she, her dumb ass is out here saying all she can do is laugh about it, then okay. That gives people free reign to say what they want about that, about her baldness. So maybe don't put it out there that much if you don't want people talking about it. I don't know. It's hard to do that as a celebrity. I get that. It's annoying. It sucks. But I don't think it's going to hurt Will Smith's career. I don't think it's going to hurt Chris Rock's career. I guarantee next year's Oscars, they're actually, they'll actually they probably present something together. Um, so I don't know. I think it was just a moment of being heated. A moment of letting somebody else control you. I don't know. Just don't go uh, don't go committing acts of violence and then talk about how all you want to do is spread love and peace. That's not how it works. It it works better the way that it happened than if he had won the award, talked about spreading love and peace, and then went and smacked him. That would have been re that would have really been bad. But it wasn't, so that's fine. It is what it is. That's it for my take my thoughts. Everybody's going to have a different opinion. I get that, which is why I kind of see both sides of things. Like, okay, that's fine. I also, I just, I don't care, but if I'm going to have a movie YouTube channel, I'm not going to not talk about it when actors do things like that on a live broadcast about movies. So that's it for me. This will be the last that you hear of it from me, unless you're my friend and we talk about it personally, but this will be the last that I talk, the one and only time I'll talk about it on this channel. Unless it gets brought up at next year's Oscars or some shit. I don't know. Either way, my predictions were decent. I started out strong. Middle was kind of fluffed. And then I ended pretty strong. So, like I said, I still won five bucks. So I'm happy. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> oh, That's assault, brother.